Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Rust co-op survival on Simsy Plays. This is co the co-op survival episode 4. This is the second episode of the new wipe. So welcome back to Rust, guys. If you still are enjoying this Rust co-op survival, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button. Leave a comment and subscribe if you're new around here. If you leave a like and a comment, it's a great way for me to gauge if you want to see more of this particular Rust series or would you like to see something else. Now, guys, if you haven't gone and watched the first um, episode three, the first of the new wipe, I highly recommend you do. Holy shit, there was some really funny stuff in that episode. We managed to steal a bolty off a clan. Yes. A clan AW has like 60 plus members or so, which is just absurd. We managed to steal a bolty off them, and there's only three of us as well. That is that is so huge for us. That's armed us with bolties. Now for this episode, what I want to basically do is we want to get a mine up. We also want to continue building out the walls, build some more furnaces down, get the uh, pump jack out as well. But we're getting to the point now we can actually go out and do some runs and get geared up and actually do some PvP. And we're also slowly but surely making our way to hopefully get a raid in the next or the... Um the next or the next two episodes which would be really cool but yeah i can't believe we managed to count we, we managed to scavenge a raid that were going on there was like three four guys defending their own base then there was like eight guys with AKs. i don't know how aw didn't seem to um just to, like how did they let me just steal a bolty from them they were get they, they were they were struggling to take out four guys <laughs> all those guys which is uh it's quite funny, if I do say so myself. They did manage to eventually take the base and uh, kill the guys inside. But that could have very well been our base at the end of the day. And um, we also managed to scavenge some tools and stuff out of the stuff they couldn't take back. But man, they did a raid on day one, just nearly into day two. That's just nuts, if I do say so myself. But let's continue on into the, uh, the episode now, shall we? We've got two furnaces outside. Rightio guys, an airdrop is coming in. Let's uh, go suss it out now, shall we? was just out collecting wood. The furnaces are pumping. We've got our wooden wall up for the time being until we get the, uh, the stone one. Okay, guys, slowly making my way towards the airdrop. Now, if you're wondering why there was that sort of like massive end bit on the wooden wall, simply because we didn't want to put the furnace is so close to the base because people can glitch up on top and jump into it we are eventually going to get rid of the um, the uh, wooden wall walls and replace them to high external that's a cool little base over to the left made out of twig and this airdrop oh god <laughs> righty oh guys this guy's just building outside our base I'm not entirely sure why. We haven't got any scopes on our rifles just yet. Yeah, I don't know if they're coming back. They look like they could have been building a raid tower or something. It's pretty far away to be, be that, but you never know. We've just got vertical and metal embrasures defending on the roughly fourth or fifth level, and then we've got our loot spread out. Yeah, there's a couple of guys there. Might as well have a crack. Yeah, iron side is a little bit difficult. They're just sitting behind the, um... This other random base. We've got so much room here in this sort of valley to build, build and expand. But we are going to build up just for our loot. It looks like they're just sitting there now. See if we can get a different angle. I couldn't hit fucking shit on a stick then. <laughs> Try wall bang him, I guess. You can't really do that, but... Maybe put down some suppressing fire. You know what? Fuck this. I might go out and try to get a better, a bit, better bit, bit of a better angle, uh, angle on them. I don't think they're even very well geared. It is night time, so they are further away from their own base than, than I am from mine. Yeah, fuck this right. Let's go. Leroy Jenkins! <laughs> right, we're down in the airlock. If I can get an angle on them from the other side, 
It is being a little bit ambitious. We could lose a bolt in. We've only got five from the blueprint, but you never know what these guys have. I think they were just fucking around. I don't think there was actually a, a, a raid tower going up. Come on, you bastards. They're probably going to make a run for it now that I've come out. It'd be typical. Come on. Yeah, just because it's a circle, you can just assume it could be a tower. There they are. Oh, that fucking missed. Nice. Oh. Yeah, they've gone out now. Just need to relocate. Get some cover behind my own TC because I am worried about down there. Because that's back there, guys, was where the uh, the raid happened beforehand. There's a nice little PvP going on here. Come on. My brother was fighting in that engagement, but couldn't really get them. I guess it, uh, they look like they're going to be going up the hill or trying to. Yeah, there they go. There. This is a little bit hard to see. Fucking cowards! You'd think they'd come out of the um, they'd run to town and try and get me. Crossbow versus Bolty. Oh well, I did everything I could. Instead of sitting up there just roof camping, I went down to try and flank them. We really need to get um, scopes on these. It's kind of hard to to see at night. And the iron sight, especially when they're moving so much. But hey, you win some, you lose some. In that, fuck. In that case, uh, no one really lost anything. Alright, so here's the, uh, the ladder jump. We've got a lot of armored doors here as well protecting us. And we're honeycombing most of the rest. Alrighty guys, welcome back. Now, our second vault room is going up, which is great to see. We're pretty high up now. Check out that mountain to the left. That looks really, really cool, doesn't it? Uh, what else is there to take note of? This is like day two and a bit. We have a mine! That's what you should take note of. We finally um, got our mine up. I don't really want to leave it on overnight or anything because it's only just wooden just yet. We're going to be able to get high external walls uh, soon. My brother's a fair bit of a higher level, higher than me. But there's a couple of bases going up around us. In that forest there to my right is our resource base from the start. But we're, we're pretty high up at the moment. Here's the furnaces. Very, very cool. So guys, here is the scope and silencer. Thought I would show you guys that we finally got some scopes, uh, scopes, <laughs> scopes and silencers now. I don't know how if I'm going to use the silencer that much, but definitely the scope. Okay, here's the mine. We'll we'll get this going. We finally got a mine in Rust. We won't have to do so much grinding, but like I said, I'm going to have to sit up and. Protect. I'm the only one on at the moment, and we've only got wooden walls around it, which isn't the best, but we can kickstart our mine. We're doing well. This is the best we've done in Rust so far. Got a pretty tall tower. We've got a couple of vault rooms in. We have bolties. We have, we have a big enough area to just expand as much as we want. We've got a really, really cool area, nice and flat. There's some mountains surrounding us, which looks makes it look pretty picturesque, but we're going to have to defend it because we don't want to... Uh, 
for people to burn it down. The mine's going, and I'm sure that's going to attract attention. What we really should have done is all gone with horizontal embrasures. The vertical... No, we want to go with the vertical ones, not the horizontal. Yeah, that's right. I got it mixed up. Just keeping an eye out of any potential hostiles. The only problem is that it is foggy at the moment. I'm the only one on. I want to get the mine going. I just need to protect it, though, because people roaming death squads can just come and burn it down and steal all the stuff in it in the low grade at the moment. But we will be replacing all our wooden walls with high external honeycombing and just protecting the base, giving it another thick layer. My brother also has a airdrop as well that he found out on run, so we'll probably call that in later in the episode when he gets back online, because he's not on at the moment. He, he found it, so he has the right to call it in. Can't seem to see anyone. We've got TCs around us protecting us as well, so people can't raid tower in. Oh, there's two guys up there. Is that guy baiting me? I think he is. He's got keen eyes if he could see me from there. I don't know if he is or not, he's just fucking around with his friend. I haven't shot yet, and I have a silencer. It looks like he's doing something up there, and it was just a coincidence. Maybe, I don't know. Right, I've gone out and sussed what's going on up here, and I think there might be a raid going on nearby. Yeah, for fuck's sake. You know those guys that were up on the hill, they were running back resources. There's a massive hole in this guy's base. Well, Simpsy the Scavenger, Scavenger Simpsy, one on- Oh, Jesus! <laughs> See if we can grab some stuff. Slowly but surely, making our way up here. They're picking into it by the sounds of it. They were before. Right, let's just try and scavenge as much stuff as possible from Jon Snow. Come on. Nothing really that great, but better than nothing. Sending's we did nothing in this raid. <laughs> oh god. Sorry, John. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, Simsy Scav. Right, so they're picking at night now. Oh no! <laughs> Damn, LL2 with the AK as well. I wonder if they got much stuff off him. But yeah, it looks like Jon Snow's just been fucked here. Got a lot of sleeping bags here by the looks of it. Got one for the warehouse, the rad town, and the mill. But my brother will be coming on soon, so we're going to be able to do the airdrop. But that's a shame that uh, Jon Snow got raided just there. Ah, oh, it was just a coincidence that they were jumping about. They were going to raid that base. Oh, well. At least we're... we got a lot of stuff scavenging. We've done really well. I can't believe... I still can't believe I got that bolty from uh, AW. Okay guys, welcome to the top of the base. Unfortunately, we can't actually go any higher, but there's Mount Everest and the moon, and uh, my brother's now going to call in the airdrop. There we go, nice purple. Should land bang smack on the roof. God, that's cool. <laughs> this will be our first airdrop for the co-op series. And we're doing really, really well in this rust wipe. We've got furnaces up, we've got mines, we're calling in airdrops. We're slowly but surely making our way towards a raid. We're pretty geared up. We've got bolties and scopes. I'm very, very happy. We're only in like the fourth episode as well, the second episode of this wipe, technically. So, if you still are enjoying this 
Rust co-op survival. I can't emphasize this enough. If you want to see more of it, leave a like and a comment. And yeah, let me, yeah, do you want to see more of this Rust series? It'll be interesting to see if this airdrop's any good. Be fucking our luck if it was horseshit. But to be fair, we could get an AK out of it, which would be really, really cool. I love the mountain. The map mountain looks perfect. Just building a ladder there to look down. Maybe build one on the other side for me. Yeah, cool. Couple little bases here and there. I'm, assu I'm assuming this is going to attract heaps of attention, so we've got to have to watch out for others. Another mine's gone up down far the other end, near to where that base has been raided. There's another big clan base. But the one down to the right of me got raided by AW not too long ago. It's taking fucking forever for this airdrop to come in. Here we go. Here she is. Get a cool panning cinematic shot, uh, shot over the top. Our first airdrop coming. I swear you could pay for these with micro microtransactions fucking ages ago. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just talking shit. But here it comes. We're going to have to cross our fingers that it's good and that it's going to ba fall bang smack in the the middle there because it could clip the side and <laughs> fall off but yeah like I said we can't actually build any higher this is as high as we can build the base we can't actually build any more in the center there because we've got pillars and stuff everywhere but it's coming in can't seem to see anyone man this is just putting off like just a massive fucking smokehouse on top this must look absurd from the outside I'm gonna have to stay up here and cover it. It's bang smack on the circle as well. That's really, really cool. I love the smoke. Big, pluming purple. But, it does take fucking ages for airdrops to come in. Here we go. It looks like it's going to be on target, but, but it might be a little bit deceiving. Once this airdrop is done, I think we'll go on a couple of runs, try and get some PvP in today's episode. We do need to get more um crude oil because we need more what's it called Anim uh, what's the fuel called low grade that's it we need more low grade to get more C4 and rockets if we need to we need to start preparing the best way we can get uh, crude oil is at the airfield with this just one near us is over the mountain here comes the airdrop let's see what's in it 50 high qual that's good but every that's a garbage fucking drop fuck me after all that, <laughs> you gotta be joking. Oh well, that's the roll of the, of the dice, I guess. Okay, guys, I think we might be raided. This this looks fucking terrifying. As I was out, just out and about, getting wood, and oh god. We've got high external walls up now, but there's five guys running between us. Okay. They're not going... Okay, Jesus. Looks like they're going past. That scared the absolute fucking shit out of me. We've got high external walls up on the mine. I'm going to get up in the tower, maybe snip them. I was out getting wood. Um, I didn't have much wood in, on me in the end. But, yeah, we've got a lot of metal frags in the jump chest, I know. <laughs> Maybe we should go after them later. But man, I just saw four guys in like a, a tight formation heading straight for the base. I just absolutely shattered. We probably lost a little bit of wood in the end, but that's alright. Looks like they're fucked off straight up the hill though. Okay, guys, it's just me and my brother. We're going to gear up and try and find where those guys were running to. Maybe even try, try and find some PvP along the way. There might be some action over there. There's the tower as well. Looks fucking magnificent at the moment. Grab this uh, hemp seed. We're heading over to the airfield. Right. We've heard footsteps in the other hangar. Maybe you go around, I'll go through the front. There's a guy there. He's down. Dude, come and cover me while I grab it. We'll, um... 
cover me while I grab his stuff. He hasn't he hasn't got that much stuff, just basic gear. And uh, he looks like a clan or something. There was another guy though. Oh, there's a crate here as well, I'll go for the crate. There's a naked, naked, naked. <laughs> he didn't even let him speak. Oh dude, he's got farm. He's got so much farm on him. Alright, you go try and take some stuff. That was hilarious. I was I was gonna try and let him speak. I just like swung around because <laughs> I just feel so bad for that guy. Take my shit, take my shit. Ah, <laughs> dead. <laughs> oh, we've done well in this episode so far. That's a lot of stuff. We're gonna have to head back with that. Oh, going to the airfield. We were originally going to try and just find some PvP, mostly to get crude oil, but our inventories are full now. I wonder where those, that clan, it must have looked like it was the PA clan, the three, four of them that were running past our base. But yeah, we've got a pump jack up now, we've got high external walls, the tower's coming along really, really nicely. We're at the max height at the moment, and it's be pretty, pretty hard to raid us now. We've got our loot high enough, so they can't boost in. Okay, we've got crude oil coming along. <laughs> Vape niche, y'all. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. We're going to get the uh, the mine going. We've got high external walls around the side, but we're going to have to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my social media links, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. <laughs> That's too funny. I had to stop and uh, show my brother off being ridiculous. <laughs> oh, God. That's really, really funny, that is. Also, guys, if you want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below. Leave a comment. Do you want to see more of this Rust solo survival? In the next couple of episodes, we're, we've nearly got enough stuff to make a raid. I, I really can't wait. If we can get that done, we'll be able to have my first raid for the channel. There's only going to be three of us, so it is going to be risky, but it, it should be a lot of fun regardless. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to take care of yourselves and stay tuned for more videos on Simsy Plays. My name is Ben Simsy. Take care. Goodbye. Here we go. That's a headshot. He's down. Fucking blew a bullet straight through the back of his skull.